Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Genshin Impact, my new guide. My previous guide was like when they launched the game, so now I want to update it. A lot of stuff changed. Uh, so we're going to start with the optimization of Windows. After that, we're going to optimize the launcher and we're going to finish with the parameter inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So let's start with the launcher. Go to setting. The only option that I recommend here to change is the close launcher. So make sure that you're using exit launcher. The difference between both, it's when you will launch the game and minimize it to the system tray, your launcher will be minimized and it will still using uh, a little bit of RAM and even CPU. Um, so if your computer is really like low end or, or a very old computer, 
go with exit launcher so it's gonna close the launcher when you will launch the game and you will save a little bit of resources on your computer so now let's go inside of the game inside of the game so first of all display mode make sure that you're using your native and also super important to use full screen in window mode you will lose some fps sometimes you can even add like stuttering so super important here to use your native depending on your monitor so if you have a 1080p monitor go with 1080p full screen if you have a 2k monitor go with 2k full screen after that for the fps you just have to um to uh choice 30 or 60 some rumor is saying that they're gonna add the uh, 45 fps in the next patch we will see can help a little bit for some people uh you can also unlock your fps with some third party tool i'm not gonna show you how to do that because you're we're not controlling like the <laughs> the banning process from the company so i don't want you guys getting banned and you put a lot of money in your account so just go stock for now uh, i hope that soon they're gonna unlock also the fps uh it's gonna be huge for a pc player after that for the v-sync i don't use the v-sync i have a free sync monitor if you have a free sync or g-sync monitor you don't need that uh if you don't like tiering and you don't have a free sync and g-sync i recommend to put the v-sync at on uh, it will add a little bit of input lag in your game but in a game like genshin impact you don't really care about the amount of input lag that you will add with the v-sync it's not like very uh it's it's, it's not game changer it's not like you're playing counter strike or valorant for the render resolution, I recommend to go with 1. If you go over 1, it will be upscale. It will take a lot of resources. And if you want to downscale, just make sure, do the old guide test. If you're still lagging, this is your last resort. Go with, with some things at 0.8. Honestly, at 0.6, the game looks very bad. It's very blurry. You will see pixels and stuff like that. So I don't recommend to go at 0.6. But 0.88 can help you a lot, like... 8% boost in your FPS, but uh, it's not great on SC for the visual. So just go with one, change everything else, and after that, do some testing. The shadow quality is pretty much the most important setting in this game. If I compare high to lowest, you can expect a nice 16% boost in your FPS. So for sure, if you want to stabilize your FPS and gain a lot of FPS, just start with shadow quality and do some testing for your FPS. Uh, sometimes your game will be fine and you don't have to touch anything else. After that, for the visual effect, if you feel that you're lagging a lot when you're fighting, just go with lowest. Honestly, when you will play the game at lower medium, it's not huge, the impact. It's like 2 to 3% uh, difference. Uh, but it's more like when you're fighting. Sometimes it can hit 8 to 10% difference if you compare medium to lowest. Don't go with high. It's taking a lot of resources. So if you're playing a low-end computer and integrate GPU and stuff like that, just go with lowest. If you have something like a 1060, a 1070, something like that, you can definitely go with medium. It's not like um, it's not a big big impact on your FPS, but when you're fight you're fighting and a lot of stuff is happening, it can be uh, demanding for your computer. So if you feel that you lag when you're fighting, just lower this. SFX quality, I recommend to go with low. Not a huge difference in FPS between low and low S. It's like 1% difference. But if I compare to medium, it's 3%. So that's why low is a good like balance between visual quality and FPS. Environment detail, I recommend something like low or medium. Uh, it's like 2% difference between both. Uh, medium and I, I saw 3%. Another 3% for IS. So not a huge fan of I and IS, but you can definitely run medium if you have like a mid-range computer. If you're playing a low-end computer, go with low or even lowest depending on your computer. Anti-aliasing, not a huge fan of it. They don't have FX A8, so they have TAA and SMAA. Uh, the game looks very blurry with them and also you will lose a lot of FPS. So just deactivate the anti-aliasing. You will have a nice 6% boost in your FPS and your visual will be more uh, clear. Volumetric fog, make sure that you're running off. Super important. This one also taking a lot of resources to your computer, like 6 to 7% for this parameter. It's pretty, honestly, after shadow, volumetric fog is kind of huge. Reflection, I recommend to go with off. Uh, another one that can cause a lot of hiccup, stuttering, and stuff like that. So that's why I recommend to go with off. It will help to stabilize your FPS. Motion blur, I'm not using it because I don't like the effect. Also, it will be uh, when you're removing it, uh, your image quality will be more clear, more clarity in your image. Uh, motion blur, it's it's a little bit blurry when you go, you know, left, right. So in any game, I don't like the motion blur. I just deactivated. 
For the bloom, you can expect a nice 2% boost in your FPS. And also, you will help a little bit with the visibility. It will be better to see stuff. Crowd density, you have a couple of options. You have low and high. Um, if you feel like you're lagging like crazy in CD, for sure. If you're playing on an old computer or a low-end computer, just go with low. If you're running, again, something like a 1050 or a Radeon 480, probably you can do high with the crowd density. This one, I can't really say uh, how much FPS because it really depends on the city, how much stuff that you will render in front of you. But it... It will be a big impact between both, honestly. So if you're playing, if you're everything you put it, you put your stuff at low or even medium, just go with low. If you can run your uh, setting at high, go with high with the crowd density. Co-op team, teammate effect, I recommend to go with off. It will help also for your FPS and also for visibility. Subsurface scattering, I recommend medium. Not a huge deal between off and medium. Honestly, it's like 1% is different. Medium versus high, it's 3%. So that's why I recommend to go with medium. And the last parameter, it's anisotropic so, sorry, filtering. You have a couple of options, as you can see here. If you have like a mid-range computer uh, or something recent, you can definitely run 8x or even 16x without any issue. If you're running like an old like uh, video card with 1 gig of VRAM, go with something like 4x or 2x. Same thing if you're running an integrated GPU on your Intel CPU, for example, go with 2 or 4x. So this is pretty much it guys for the Genshin Impact update for my guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.